Hi there, this is the Biz Lounge, Tuesday the 2nd of August. Let's start with the stock in focus today because global mining giant Rio Tinto has announced a bumper dividend for shareholders today. The FTSE 100 heavyweight is going to pay out a half year dividend of 110 US cents. That's a whopping 144% rise over last year's 45 cents. The company always reports in dollars, by the way, but basically that amounts to about 83 pence per share here in the UK. Now, it's all down to strong performance by the company on the back of higher commodity prices around the world and the company's efforts also to keep a lid on its costs. So on the numbers, revenue up 24% to $19.3 billion, net profit after tax up 152% to $3.9 billion. That sounds impressive, but it actually came in below market expectations of $4.1 billion dollars and that's been reflected in the share price today more on that in a minute rio also though reduced some of its debts paying off two billion dollars leaving it with a debt pile of just 7.6 billion now i own these shares it's my one and only commodity stock i hold it mainly for the dividend which i reinvest and despite the fall in the shares today they're down about 1.8 percent at 34 pound 38 i think things are going to be improving for Rio Tinto in the future. The global economy is showing signs of returning to growth. Production levels are rising globally, and that means more raw materials are going to be needed. Companies like Rio Tinto and rival BHP Billiton are the world leaders in providing essential commodities such as iron ore, copper, aluminium, even diamonds. I'm a fan, but go take a look for yourself. By the way, those lower shares in Rio Tinto are helping to drag down the FTSE 100 today. Earlier it was off about a quarter of a percent at 7.403. Big boss time and well, they really don't come any more charming than the man in the spotlight today. Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh and husband to the Queen of course, is going to be carrying out his last ever official royal duty today. At the ripe old age of 96, he spent the last 65 years carrying out his duties as royal consort. And according to Sky News, this has included more than 22,000 solo public engagements, 637 overseas trips alone, 5,500 speeches, and 14 books that he's authored. Impressive, eh? His last duty will take place at Buckingham Palace today. You won't have to go far, and he's going to be attending a Royal Marines parade. 65 years doing the same in job, it is impressive. And he also has a great sense of humour. He once jokingly told people they were about to see the world's most experienced plaque unveiler at work. And although he's sometimes been pulled up for occasionally controversial comments, well, they've all made me chuckle. I hope he enjoys his retirement. That's it. I'll see you next time.